Hey everyone, how's it going? Breezy M here. Welcome to 1998. Dear Diary, I'm missing out on my childhood. I should be having fun, but I'm not. Sure, I have friends. But I basically isolated myself. It's like nobody really talks to me, just through me. I wish I could enjoy myself. Too bad humanity is such a drag. Nobody cares about anything that matters. They're just stuck in their boring routine day after day. In the meantime, I'll put up a front and play along. I'm not genuine in the slightest, so nobody really knows who I am. If I, it really sucks that, in all the 17 years I've been alive, I've never had a real connection with anyone. I wasted my youth alone. Bummer. Audrey, your friends are outside. Tell them I'm busy. All right, I'll shoot them away. I know you don't feel like going out, but could you at least get groceries? <sighs> okay, Mom. All right, well, let's just get the groceries over with. Okay, now right, what's over here? Is that my diary? Collection of poems and short stories. Currently bookmarked in the story titled Algorithm of the Butterfly. Okay, not a big fan of this one. It's worthy familiar. Okay, anywhere? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, well, let's go out. I right, get the groceries, all right, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we are. Here, can you go in here? Mom's room. Okay, here, we'll go downstairs. All right, oh, hey, cool. On the table? No, breakfast? No. I'm not ready, really hungry right now. You're not? Okay, here, can I go? Still need to get the grocery list. Should be in my room. Oh, your room? Oh, man. Door's locked. Okay, oh, you really? Oh, damn. Oh, I left the grocery list in my room. Whose room is this? Mine? Hey, what's the question here? Was that, was that over here? There it is. I can't go through. Okay, let's go. All right. Well, damn, I didn't know I left it there. Right here. Now is the door lock unlocked? There. Can I go this way? What's over here? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's the bathroom. I need to go. Hey, I'm so pretty. Why am I like this? I don't know. I'm gonna go out. Right here. Let's go. Okay. Can I leave now? Oh, hey, cool. All right. Oh, who are you? Oh gee, does your mom have any more wine? I'm all out. Oh, my mom said she thinks she should try other ways to relax. With four kids, not possible. If you had any, you would understand. Hey, okay, can I borrow your car? Oh, I guess I can't. Well, I guess I'm going on foot. Oh, well, bye. Go see stores in that way. Oh, wow, which way is it? Is it? Oh, is it up here? Oh, okay. I guess I came out of that house here. Go this way. Must be this way. Here it is. Just for here. Who are you? I'm so scared of cats. I think I should go to therapy. What the therapist has a cat? What if I offend them? <laughs> okay, uh, on second thought, therapy is overrated. Yeah, okay. What are you doing standing in front of the road here, huh? What's your problem? You know, kid, there's nothing like AC on a hot day. That feeling when you walk into the air conditioned room for the first time, incredible. Yeah, okay. What's your, what's your point? Yeah, I know it's in the middle of summer. I'm wearing a down jacket. I don't care. I can do whatever I want. Okay, well, how about you screw off? Okay. Hey, we gotta go through that. Let's see that list. What is it? Uh, definitely throwing in junk food. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, what? Late sir? I don't know. Here, let's just pick up a bunch of crap. I almost said, time to ring these up. Oh, damn, I'm already ready? Here, what are you doing? That dude out there in the down jacket is so weird. He's really intense. Yeah, okay, I don't care about him. Did I get the groceries? So I need to go and click on a bunch of stuff. Hey, Audrey, your mom said, sent you here again? Yeah, she wanted me to get out of the house. How's it going? Good, good. So good to be hot out today. I like the produce sign. People need to know that. You like it? Yeah, I'm sick of throwing perfectly good stuff away when people could really use it. Preach. Nobody's considering it these days. Well, I don't know about that. That's a little pessimistic. Okay. Your total is $20.59. Take care of yourself, Audrey. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, can I see anything else? Well, pasta. Okay, what else we got over here? Okay, nothing. Ice cream. Will the cashier notice if some surely disappear? Oh, I take some? Cheese. Take some of that too. Here. Oh, hell, I don't know. Here, what the hell? Let's just go. Can I go home? Let's get it. Damn, sorry, 3 p.m. I gotta work my shift to the library. Oh, hell. Damn, well, let's go. Do I go this way back home? I think so. Whoops. No, the library's not that way. I don't think, right? Uh, I don't know. I gotta, yeah, I gotta go back home. I guess here. Oh hell! Is there a light library over here. Here, yeah, let's go here. T. All right, yeah, I'm here to work. Hello. Oh, there you are, Audrey. 
Better get working. We just got a ton of donations. Can you put them upstairs for me? Sure thing. Okay, here. All right, I'm fast. Here we go. Let's put this stuff away. I want to go home and eat. Oh, here we go. Hey, I'm going to talk to myself. Oh. You know, Charles Dickens wasn't all that great. Really? Yeah, his stories failed to be introspective or philosophical at all. I completely agree with you, actually. The messages in his books are too simple, even while he packs away too much detail into every sentence. God, that's exactly what I've been saying. James Joyce is so much better. He wears, he weaves in so many profound, deep ideas into the mundane lives of average people. I think people in reality are shallower than that, but he definitely perfected the stream of consciousness technique. Haha, <laughs> you seem to know your stuff. You work here? Yeah, I'm just stacking books. Lots of heavy lifting. Doesn't even pay well. Oh, that sucks. Just curious, but I don't think I've seen you around here before. I'm Joan, Jim, Joan, Jim. I just moved here. Oh, I'm Andre. Just warning you, this town isn't that great. Where are you from? Well, I lived in Osaka for 10 years, but then moved to New York for a while and then moved here. You grew up in Japan? Your English is almost perfect. Well, I've been learning English all my life. My parents always dreamed of living in New York City. New York was far too chaotic, though, so we thought New Jersey would be. New Jersey is terrible. Everyone here is idiotic. It's so hard to have a productive conversation. Don't be too hard on this place. I'm sure you'll exaggerate. Let's just stop talking about this. I want to know more about you. All right. I have to say, really unlike anyone else I've ever met. That's a big compliment. Thanks. Well, I mean it. I can't stand most people, but you seem different somehow. I can actually have an intelligent conversation with you. Don't you have friends? What about them? I just pretend to friend. <laughs> I just pretend to be friendly with them. I never actually liked them. They probably wouldn't seem that bad if you took the time to get to know them. I guess you're right. Eh, I just never really wanted to, is all. I think you should give them a chance. You'd be surprised. Oh, I've been meaning to ask. What are you doing tomorrow? Nothing really. Just unpacking a little. Great. I was hoping I could show you a restaurant around here tomorrow night. How about I meet you by your house at 6.30? I'll walk you there. Sounds great. Can't wait for it. Okay. Well, hell, what do I do now? Go back home? Here. What's in here? Alright, well, let's go. Yeah, put the books away. Thanks, Audrey. See you. Say okay, bye. What do you want? You still sitting there? I'm so scared of cats. Okay, well, you go up. Wow. You need to quit. Okay, you need to get off the street, man. You're, like, weird. You're standing there doing nothing. Let's go home. Now, do I need to go home first or go to that guy's house? I'm not sure here. Ma, oh, you're home. How was work? Same as usual. So, that was it? Boring day? Yeah, kind of. Oh, you always say that. Well, nothing ever happens. Psst. Well, at least you got the groceries. I'm going to go upstairs. Good night. Night. Okay, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Me, me, me. Oh. A butterfly landed on my windowsill today. Its wings were delicate and soft, like the petals of a white lily. Naturally, I let it to the faith that all beauty of nature must endure. I caught it in my hands and locked it up into my cage. Why? Okay, it's almost 670. Jones House is a white one, two blocks down from mine. June's House, okay. Oh, two blocks? Oh, down. What is it? Oh, here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Where, where's my house? My house is down here. Okay, two blocks down. This way? Uh, let's see. It's a white one. What? Oh. Jeez, Audrey, where have you been? Oh, just busy as all. Well, what are you doing now? I'm meeting someone. Really? Who is it? Do you finally have a boyfriend? <laughs> nope, just a friend. I don't even need a boyfriend. When you're old and living alone with cats, you will. I'll be too rich to care. Let's hope. See you, Audrey. See ya. Okay, bye. Is this June? June? No, it's over here. White House. This one? Is this you? That girl looks tacky on you. Aren't you a lovely child? Brat. Whatever. Okay, whatever. Oh, here's the White House. Must be this one. Let's see. Knock on the door. Oh. Hey, hey, how's it going? 
I'm fine. I just ran into some of my friends a minute ago. They hoped that you were my boyfriend. Oh, well. Don't worry. I told them you weren't. Oh, phew. I'm actually... Let's walk over to that restaurant. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, let's go. Wait. Actually, what? Um, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, hell. Why Lancer? Wait, then. Okay. Who's the restaurant? Oh, right here. Let's go inside. Is this it? Oh, hey, what are you doing? Go away. Damn, okay. What's this? Cat? Puddle? Okay, let's go inside and eat. Two, please. Isn't this place so cool? Wow, a Japanese noodle shop. Of course you decided to take me here. Trust me, the Japanese part is purely a coincidence. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, sure. It's really the best place around. It's tucked into this dingy alleyway that nobody would think to go down in the first place. Yet it has some of the best food I've ever had. Pretty good atmosphere, too. I'll have to see the food for myself, though. You'll enjoy it. You have to. All right. So, how was your life back in New York? Well, my parents were struggling a lot financially. There was always something to do, but I was usually out by myself. My parents both were working all day at jobs that didn't pay that much. Sounds a lot like my job. Well, um, it wasn't quite the dream we hoped for. It all went down here when my mom... I wish I could live in New York. There's just so many things to see and so many different peop different kinds of people. I thought you hated people. Uh, it's just so hard to get over myself. You're right about giving people a chance. It's so dumb that it didn't occur to me before I met you. It's a work in progress though. It's hard to listen sometimes. I've always been a terrible listener. Well, I'm just glad you're being honest. Patience with people is hard to master. I think you can learn it from, with enough time. So, how is it? Okay, you're right. It's great. See? I'm going to be living on this stuff as long as I'm living in this town. If I could afford to do that, I definitely would. The most remarkable things in life are found in the most unsuspecting places. Well, you're definitely right about that. Hey, if you're up for it, there's another place I want to show you here. Oh, really? Meet you outside the library as soon as I get off work Thursday. Well, I'm so excited to see what it is. I hope you're not just going to murder me. Gee, I'm totally going to. How'd you find out? Gee, just a while, I guess. See you then. Okay, I'm going home and leaving you there. Oh, wait, you're going, then I'm leaving myself there. Wait, hey, where'd you go? Oh, yeah, let's go home, I guess. Where's my... Where's my house? This way? No one know how my house is this way. Now I'm lost now. People are still standing out by their cars. Oh, I say here my house is there. Right here. Deep, deep, deep. Oops. My butterfly appears irritated today. It flaps and flutters and swings nervously against the walls of the cage. I think it might be trying to tell me something. Yeah, let me the hell out of this cage. I don't know what to do. You guys should ask you asked if it was all right. Regardless, my butterfly has helped me infinitely more than I imagined. Such a beautiful and friendly companion is something I really needed in my life. Especially during rough times such as these. So, where exactly are you taking me? You'll see. Just follow me. Well, I hope she knows where she's going. And I don't know where the hell I'm going. Here, to the park. Let's go this way. Here, I have no idea where I'm freaking going. Let's follow the path. <laughs> oh, hell, that took us right back to there. This house. There's kids screaming coming from inside. Okay, we don't want to go there. Here, sorry. Here, let's go this way. Well, I don't know where we're supposed to go. Here, can we go in one of these houses? Here, let's go knock on some doors. Nope, not that one. You can knock on this door? Nope. Okay, we don't want to go there. Here, let's go this way. Here. How about we go to your house? No, let's keep going this way. Any over here? No, nope. well, let's go up. Here, let's go to your house. Anybody in there? Hello, your son's home. No, okay, never mind. Let's go this way. Yeah, well, what's your problem? It's only to put flowers on grades. It's not like the dead give a damn. Okay. The cemetery? Let's go in there. No need to go in here now. Oh, here. Oh, here. Flower shop. Can I go in there? 
There we go, cool. Well, I'll buy you some flowers. Yaji, how's it going? Hey, it's going good. Who's your friend you have here? His name's June. He moved here from... I moved here from New York. Well, nice to meet you, June. Just let me know if you need help buying anything. Actually, I was here to get some lilies. Oh, I have some in the greenhouse. They're going wonderfully. Alright, thanks. I see why you took me here. The place is so pretty. Yeah. Well, let's go in the greenhouse. Oh, cool. You alright, Audrey? Follow me. You don't even know what these are. Oh hell. Follow me. Oh here, wait here. You need to talk to this person first? Your cashier. No? Hey, what is this? Oh here we go. No, oh, well, don't well I can't talk to you, so I guess I'm leaving with these flowers. Can I go in here now? Maybe I need Lois for a grave. Oh, maybe we do. Which one? I don't know, let's see. Miss Keisha. R.I.P. Hunter Ravine. This was always his greatest dream. What? Oh, I don't know. Um, Paul's Cactus. Squidward's Hopes of Dream. Uh, hopes and Dream. Squidward? Here, who is this? This one's like by itself. Oh, here. This one? Obtain scrapbook page. Oh, okay. In the cemetery? Glenn Torpedo died something died doing something incredibly stupid. What did he do? Get in the torpedo thing and launch himself out? The grave is dark text and dark stone. Not very good foresight, okay. Ever needs a Scrooge? Holy cow, here, which one do I need? Lenore. Is it up this way somewhere? Oh, maybe up here. Oh here we go. Loving father and husband. Oh, that's my dad. I go here to put flowers on his grave every few days. My white lilies in our garden when I was little. They were his favorite. We don't have white lilies anymore. That's terrible. He was killed in a... I can't even say it. It's fine, Audrey. You don't have to. Nobody can possibly understand how awful it is. Just living day to day is a challenge. That's why I don't have friends. You just don't get it. You probably don't get it either. You probably never will. I had a bad day today. When I arrived home, I merely went to my sorrows upon my dear butterfly. I listened intently to every word I had to say, never passing any judgments. After I spilled out all my complaints, I felt lighter. I felt more free than I ever had before. I'm immensely grateful that my butterfly was able to help me. I don't even know what I'd do without it. Dear diary, lately I'm finding it hard to clear my head. Ever since Jim showed up, it's like I'm suddenly questioning everything about myself. Anyway, I need to take a walk in the park. It usually helps. Okay, now we go this way. Now I know this must be the park. Oh. Hey June, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Who's that? Why is she here with you? Oh gee, I met her after I moved here. She lives across the street. Can you introduce me? Yeah, sure. You could just introduce yourself. You're pretty bad at social interaction. <laughs> yeah, I know. I haven't had much experience in that area. Don't stress about it. Audrey, meet Rachel. I know Audrey. I see her at the library all the time. Yeah, I've seen you around. Jim's told me a lot about you, too. Don't worry, Audrey. All good things. Yeah, but then again, I doubt Jim has ever said anything bad about anyone in his life. You're probably right. It's like he can't even stand up for himself. All right, all right. That's enough. Even if he does, sure record everything. I think he was right about you. You seem pretty cool. Thanks. You seem pretty cool, too. Well, hopefully we can hang out sometime. We can make fun of June when he isn't there. Tea! <laughs> Sounds great. 
Dear Diary, I haven't seen June in weeks. I wonder what's up with him. Maybe I should check on him. I hope we haven't pissed him off. You know where we're going. June's house. Here we are. Here goes nothing. Hey June, how have you been? I haven't seen you around in a while. Are you okay? My my mom, she died a few weeks ago. That's terrible. It's okay, I know it was coming. Don't worry about me. That doesn't make it any less awful, and you know that. I'm not going to quit worrying about you. You're not invincible. Well, you should be busy worrying about yourself, given how you're always suffering. June. Oh God, is that why you didn't tell me? I'm sorry that it was too harsh. No, you're absolutely right. I've been a self pitying piece of shit this whole time. You're not a piece of shit. I've definitely been devoid of sympathy. I've been totally inconsiderate. That's my problem. <sighs> Look, you've kind of cut me off a lot. And your worldview is somehow narrow and self centered. It was petty of me to try and shut you out when my mom died. But I was just tired of making everything about your own problems. I always do that, don't I? I'm an idiot. But here's the thing. Ever since I met you, I've tried to get you to change this perspective. It's working. You're becoming a lot better. You're so much more compassionate now, and I'm really proud of you. You shouldn't have to do that, though. It was so obvious I was being a prick. I should have just known. I'm sorry I treated you like that. I can't accept your apology. You're going to have to compensate. By doing what? Going with me to the floors to get some carnations. I took the butterfly out of its cage. For the first time, it told me everything. All its sorrows were caused by me. I took its freedom away. I made it miserable. Suddenly, I had an idea. I set it free in the garden. I wanted to live there, free to come and go as it pleased. Even though I expected that I would never see it again. It joyfully danced through the flowers. I said that I, I thought it would be our last goodbye. But the next day, it returned. Slowly, one day at a time, we got to know each other. It would come to me with advice, with stories. How cool. We were finally friends. Meant to live in our garden, not our cage. It shouldn't only function as an outlet for your problems, they need to be heard too. We need to let them mix their lives with ours. Friendship is what makes life worth living. Ending number two, garden. Wow. I guess that's different endings. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting it to be such a deep and thoughtful game. Wow. Very good. Well, everybody, thank you for coming along this little adventure with me. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see everybody really soon. Bye now.